Previously on Fly With The Guy. We're getting ready to dead head <laughs> to London. He made me check my carry-on bag, which I'm not supposed to do because it had all of my required duty items in it. That's one of the major uh, differences between working with integers. We fool la la in Ladies February. February equals fool la la, so I'll see you all then. I've been trying to make my wallet full. Welcome back to another video on the channel. I'm Brandon. I'm a guy who flies. Not working I'm in my vacation era. Currently in Fort Lauderdale. I'm supposed to be in Orlando though. Joining my friend Andre for the MegaCon convention. I gifted him with tickets for his birthday. It's being held this weekend. So I was trying to non-rev. For those of you who are new to the industry, non-rev is short for non-revenue passenger. It's one of the perks and travel benefits that come along with being cabin crew. The perk is that you fly for free or close to free. The catch is that you fly standby, meaning you only get on if there's an available seat. There were zero open seats on the flight and I was number four on standby and I did not get on. He was going to drive up to Orlando anyway, so he's about to scoop me up from the airport and then we're going to road trip it. Hey, hey, Hi. the man that's saving my life, y'all. What's up, y'all? This weather is so much better than New York because it was like 40 degrees and raining this morning. Get you a friend that will meet you at the airport. Wow, they're doing the most stuff here. They always get to this intersection and get confused. That will meet you at the airport with the Jamaican beef patties. Keep your Jamaican in your life because you'll be all right. What's the chance you're calling me out? What's the chance I'm gonna hear it coming out of your mind, yeah? Now you won't know my time, eh? But I can't even stand me with you. You stay on my mind, yeah? Okay, you all, uh, update. We have made it all checked in. Just getting refreshed, changing outfits, about to go. We are both hungry, so the mission is food. Food, food la la, first food. We are back at City Walk. I was, I felt like, oh my God, I have been forever. And then I remember I was literally just here in December when um, I came to crash the Animal Plane holiday party. souvenir glass and I'm so OCD like everything at home has to be part of a set. Thank you. You got it. See y'all? I walked out of here with a hurricane glass. Time to get drunk. Time to get drunk. <laughs> to go to Cinnabon to see if they had anything else still. I tried to go to Cinnabon. I'm gonna act like I didn't walk into that table. I tried to go to Cinnabon to see what they had left over. And Miss Mama's at the door talking about something. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry you all, but we are officially closed. Girl, ain't nobody asked you that. The nerve, it was like so disrespectful. <laughs> She ain't trying to make no money because no. if it was me, I would be like, no, nah, I take that back. Because if it was time to close, I would really be like, we closed. <laughs> I wouldn't have did the whole, oh, I'm so sorry, but we, no, nope, nope, close. We need to learn the difference on how you sit on a moving walkway. You stand on the right, the left is for walking. So if you're going to stand, you can't block the whole thing. I'm to teach all these people how to use a moving walkway in 2024. You approach it. If you want to stand, get the f to the right. If you want to walk, you can move on the left. You see this? Perfect. That's how it's done. Good morning, people. Day
day two here in uh, Orlando. We are on our way to the convention, but first we need to fuel ourselves for a day of an adventure. Uber close to, I think we're gonna go to AHA by the convention center, and then um, we can just walk from the AHA there, so. That's the plan, that's the goal. Wait, am I recording? Yeah, okay, yes, I was about to be so mad. All right, good morning. Good morning, buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buen, So we ended up at Dennis because the, where the aha was was like tucked in the cut. And so we had our Uber driver just drop us off on the main street because we were already like in a line of traffic. And then we didn't feel like walking over <laughs> after we got up, so. Denny's it is. One, two, three. It's not over. I don't think it ends until 7, but it's over for us. <laughs> you all know when you have thousands of people in one place trying to request a ride share, like pick up near that place, horrendous. So we're walking half a mile-ish kind of away. We'll try to request a ride. This is how comfortable I was today. Definitely wore slides. I wasn't playing any games. <laughs> Oh my god. Y'all y'all look at this. Hold on. Doing too much. About to leave. You see these? These was ripped. Ten minutes ago, all of this was connected. In the present of time, I have ripped all of it. So I'm just going to use these little scissors and get rid of this. Maybe. always something that looks stupid oh wait it look better now oh my goodness i'm not changing clothes is my knee ashy i think i just made my knee ashy nonetheless we are dressed and uh i'm about to go out last night in orlando I haven't listed for a single flight. I really should just go straight to the airport now and get on the 5.30 a.m. flight because that's probably the one that got the most open seats. But something tells me I'm gonna fall asleep and I'm not gonna get up for that flight. So we're gonna play roulette with standby flights back to New York on a Sunday. Even vlogging 
Good morning. So it is, obviously it's the next day. What am I talking about? It's go home day for me. Andre dropped me off at the airport. We're grabbing some breakfast first here at Cracker Barrel. I'm so excited to have this Cracker Barrel because these pancakes, I realized I need to do a better job of like acknowledging all of the frequent flyers on the channel because some of y'all are not in the States. And so I just be talking about places like y'all know what I'm talking about. Parker Burrell is a food chain here in the States. It's a restaurant chain that they primarily serve breakfast food. Well, they're known for their breakfast food, but they also have a dinner menu. I don't think I've ever come here like outside of like breakfast time. It's modeled after everything country. Imagine 1874 country. And if that was to just vomit in a restaurant. That's what this place is. How they get you is that they have a whole retail store while you're waiting for your table or after you finish eating, you can go through and shop and just buy a bunch of stuff. And I'll show you all some of the stuff that they have in the store. So housewares, toys, candy, just everything, retail. You can get greeting cards. It's very much given Little House on the Prairie. There's apparel. A minute ago, I was talking to one of the sales associates. He was telling me about these candles. He really recommended this one. But in my opinion, this one smell better. And I mean, the price points is pretty comparable to what you would see at some other big market stores. You see this? Very country. Seasonal. But really, it's the candy for me. Y'all know my obsession. Nostalgic candies that were like really popular. They're three for six dollars. Airheads are not nostalgic. They're still very much popular. Lots of things, lots of options. having breakfast. I am stuck. How you feel? I'm feeling good, but I'm tired. <laughs> You're but about good. to get the itis. <laughs> right. Andre is getting ready to drive back home and I am going to go to the airport. I did want to show you all. I saw these in there and they are like a coconut candy. I remember these from my childhood. Now this, this is nostalgia right here. And my grandmother used to always have them. So I just had to pick up some. They were like a dollar and 29 cents. So there's a flight to LaGuardia that is oversold by eight with one person on standby. And then there's a flight to Isla that is oversold by one with nobody on standby. And it sounds like, oh, well you have a flight and a backup. Wrong. One flight leaves at 2.53 and the other flight leaves at 2.59. When you're doing back-to-back -back flights like that, you really need 15 minute-ish buffer between between the two flights, by the time one flight closes and you don't get on, then you can run to the other flight and get on that one. It's the Sunday standby struggle. The distance is unfair, I'm feeling like I'm wasting my time. No actions already, to me it seems you're doing just fine. Assumptions can't be registered. When it feels right. trains and automobiles is really what it's giving me. I didn't even look at the train times, but I know it goes like every 30 minutes. Yo, I got in the, in the Uber and the train was departing in five minutes. Drive it like it's stolen, okay? And I really did not think we was gonna make it, but we made it. I'm gonna stand by right now, but I haven't been assigned anything. But I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog right here. Thank you all for coming along, but I'm Brandon, I'm about to fly, and I will see you all the next time. Dorothy, go.